Express Search is a Palmerston North free store that receives surplus goods from various suppliers, making them available to those who are in need. It's located on Pitsubut Avenue, close to the city centre, and today we're going to check it out. So the place that we're going to, you might see the, have to see the gull sign at the moment, just a bit further down. It's just in the uh, self-service gull. Um, and just still, which is in the background there. There's not nothing using on there just yet. So we'll certainly check it out and see what. Concept Type of Free Store um, actually comes from the diggers who in 1967 um, created the concept of a free store where they were basically, um, it was um, like in contradiction or in um, opposition, I should say, to. Rebecca Culver is the Just Search coordinator and was explaining there where the concept of a free store came about. The idea for Just Search came from a similar store in Wellington, which was started as part of the students' art project. Some people in Wellington, you know, she approached some people to take it on as a permanent thing because it was quite successful down there. So on June 14, 2011, Just Search opened to an incredible response. By and large, the response from the community has been very positive. Um, just today, I have actually been speaking at a progress club, and, and even there, the response was very, very positive around me. A Just Zilch day begins at 2 pm with cleaning, including mopping the floor and setting up the pie shelves for the day ahead. Tessa is a, another volunteer at Just Silch and explains what happens during the day. Cleaning, preparing food and then serving it. Um, here's another bag of products and a small bag of milk powder, which will be extremely popular. So today's volunteers are now preparing the food, bagging dry food such as rolled oats, uh, powdered mashed potato and milk powder, labelling the bags and putting them on the shelf. Um, there's usually, and they all come in at different times because when they fill in a form, you have to fill in a form here, um, this sort of form, I think this is it. You fill in that form, and then what happens is you fill in the times that, like, you're available, like, within our hours, like, some don't come in, like, some might come in, like, at, at normally we, we start at 2 and go till 6 o'clock, but a lot of them just come in at certain times, like, there might be some that come in at 3, mm -hmm can go to six. Why Maria has been a volunteer at Just Zilch for a few months now, but today is her first day as a supervisor. Yeah, um, I think there's one on the door. I'm just trying to figure out how many we have here. We have one on the door. We have two up here. Three, four, uh, uh, yeah, five. Yeah, there's five because one makes the coffee. So there's roughly about six people, six to seven people mm -hmm. that run it, like, you know, and they all come, like, by the time it opens at 4.30, we usually have the amount of people that we need to yeah. to function yeah. here. So it's usually about seven, isn't it, Graham? Probably about seven. Before becoming a volunteer at Just Silch Graham, it used to be a client who stood outside in the line waiting to come in free food supplied by Just Silch, and one day he was asked to help out, and it went from that. I used to come in and stand outside to get up, and yeah. got me one day to come in and help Mark. He might give you a reason to be here, if you have the next day and then um, your beak is for me and say, would you like to volunteer? As well as volunteers for Just Silch, like Graham volunteering their time for the last couple of months or so now. There are also 
new blood coming to the store. Today is Susan's first day. Um, oh, a friend of mine mm. who I used to teach with and we have afternoon tea together every Friday. Yep. And she, she's involved in the church with these ladies. Because um, the ladies here, um, the people who are senior, are all from the same church, I think. Okay. And so she knows them from the church and so she does it and she's so this is our hot house for propagating um, seedlings. So we've got this lovely lettuce down here, and um, and over here we've got eggplants, which is pretty exciting. So while the majority of Just Ilch's food is donated from bakeries, cafes, and supermarket chains across the city of Palmerston North, as well as individuals. It's important to understand where the vegetables come from. This is the result of the hugely successful Just Silch Garden, which is south of Palmerston North in the town called Longburn. Well, obviously not bee beans, but where the beans came from at the shop yesterday. Um, the beans are all from the same seed bank. Um, it must be a pumpkin. Oh yeah, there's one there. Hmm. Yep, tomatoes. Um, but, so they, what they've done is they've gone through and they've pollinated all the flowers and made sure that, that we have quite good crops of tomatoes coming on so they're looking really good. With one acre of land donated for the use of just silch and machinery and seedlings donated by various gardening companies, the community garden was all set to go. All it needed was for Dad to come along. Cabbages and there's some cauliflowers as well. Uh, no, this, these are our strawberries. These here. Cabbages. Cabbages. And same thing over there, we've got sort of a mix. Um, I, I actually recently moved to Palmerston in July mm -hmm. and um, I asked my uh, to, to, to take up a master's scholarship from Massey. Hi, yep, so I'm from Massey, yeah. Uh, and um, I asked my supervisor about community gardens. I've been in the garden for a long time. And I happened to put a flyer, an email about this place starting up. the role as, a, as sort of a bit of a supervisor and a bit of a um, sort of a bit of a yeah. So do you find it's um, good work experience for your future careers yeah, and things? I, I do. I, um, me, me and my wife we, you know, we have we have a dream of having a big patch probably about this size and so this has given me a bit of a reality check on how much work yep. um, is required and yeah it's just, you, know, you can learn Yeah. Digging dirt and you know, getting to know what different soils do and So after weeks of planning and putting together the silver beet, beans, potatoes in towers of old tyres, tomatoes, cabbages and strawberries, and getting together a few volunteers, the Just Silver Garden was all ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can fly, I'm just, I'm just a keen gardener, so I just enjoy the enjoyment. Um, I think the thing I enjoy most is, is actually planting things. Is actually like on a Monday and getting stuff in the ground. 